Hey guys welcome to the video. This video will be about the most annoying situations in this cruel world. Welcome in the world of I don't work here lady. Actually, Ken, I don't work here anymore. Or for you. A friend of mine recently reminded me of this, the absolute best time I ever had dealing with a Karen in the wild. It happened about 30 years ago, so I'm going strictly by memory here. I also have no clue what the name for a male Karen is, so I'll call him Ken. Sorry this came out so long but I think you'll enjoy it. TLDR at the bottom. I used to work for, chain, convenience store, and back in the late 80s it ran into financial trouble. Corporate decided that, to cut costs, they would sell off slash shut down all locations that didn't have a gas station attached, this included my location. Once the stores were sold slash closed, our positions would be eliminated and we'd be out of a job. Although I was only the assistant manager for our location, I was effectively running things as corporate had decided to pull my manager off to a different location, and the assistant would be good enough since the store was closing anyway. Now, on the story. Cast. HH, head honcho guys from corporate, in charge of selling the store, slightly involved near the end. Ken, entitled dude who bought our location. And, of course, Moy. Smiley face. Once Chain announced that they were closing the stores, it was no secret that we would be shutting down. Of course, us employees were still expected to give good customer service. That was usually no problem as we were in a good area and had pretty decent customers, they liked us, we liked them, but at the same time, we had no flips to give for the occasional Karens. It was nice, being able to shut them down. What were they gonna do, fire us? Good times. I wish I could remember specific instances, but... 30 years. They all kinda run together now. The most entitled of all, though, was Ken. Turns out, he'd bought our location from Chain, and would be taking over in about a month and a half. During that time, I was working with HH guys from corporate, doing things at the store level for the sale. Meanwhile, Ken came in a few times a week, demanding that certain things be done, as if he already owned the place. He wanted us to change displays, order specific products, etc. HH guys had already told me to ignore his demands, so all of them were met with some variation of, no, Ken. I work for Chain, not for you, and this isn't your store yet. Which sent Ken off in all his huffing glory, yelling that I wouldn't be acting like that once he ran the place. Fast forward to the final day. All the other employees had worked their last shifts, and, as acting manager, I opened the store that morning. HH guys arrived to go through whatever they needed and, Shortly before noon, Ken showed up. Ken and HH guys went in the back and, once they came back out, we closed the store in order to finalize everything. HH guys and I cashed out the register for the last time and, most importantly, I turned over my key to the store. Once that was done, something close to the following happened. HH, okay, Ken, we're done. It's all yours now. They start packing up to leave. Me, just making sure, Chain no longer owns this location. Ken is in charge now, yes. HH confirms, so I step out from behind the counter. Of course, Ken starts yelling. I think yelling was his default mode. Ken, where do you think you're going? Me, home, what does it look like? Ken, you get back here and get your butt back behind that counter where it belongs. Me, calmly, no. I don't work for you. Ken. What do you mean, no. I told you things would be different when I took over and now you have to do what I tell you to do. Me, with a huge grin on my face, you just don't get it, do you? Ken looks confused, you bought the store, you bought the inventory, but you did not buy the employees and you sure as hell didn't buy me. So I'll say it one last time, and try to get this through to whatever functional cells may be floating around in your empty head, I don't, work, for, you, never have, never will, and since chain store number 1234 no longer exists, I don't work there anymore, either. Since I'm no longer needed here, nod to HH guys, I'm leaving. Ken starts sputtering and yelling incoherently, realizing he now has nobody to work the register, as I walk to the doors for my last time. Of course, I can't help myself, as I'm pushing the door open, I turn around, give Ken my best customer service smile, and a cheery have a nice day. IIRC correctly, 
the store didn't open again for a couple of days, at least, while Ken tried to hire some employees, but anyone from the neighborhood who had seen him treating us so badly before the sale wanted nothing to do with him, and even once it reopened, it didn't last long. TLDR, Ken buys store, but he didn't buy me, or anyone else, to work there. Entitled woman mistakes me for employee at a Walmart and then comes for job interview. I was doing some late night shopping on a Sunday night in Walmart when this woman comes up to me. Excuse me, I need help finding these items. She shoves a list to my chest. I'm sorry, miss. I don't work here. I think that was the wrong thing to say as she just explodes on me. Bullshit. Don't be lazy. You're in the uniform. My shirt was the same color as a Walmart employee's but I was not an employee. It's the same color, but I repeat, I'm not an employee. I can't help you. Fuck you. You lazy fuck. Get me your manager. I'm going to get you fired. I decided to just walk away. She yells and tries to chase after me but I keep running until I lose her. Then I go and pay for my things. Now, a week later, I was told I would be interviewing someone who was applying for the secretary position in our company. So, I go to the interview room and call in the applicant. I look at the picture on the application form and my eyes widened. It was the same woman who harassed me in the Walmart. Oh, now this was too perfect. She came in, saw me, gasps. Take a seat, please, I said and she sits down, looking pale. Oh, I was going to enjoy this but I conducted the interview as professionally as possible. I made it very painful for her. So, if someone came up to you and asked for help in a place you did not work, then you told them you didn't work there, and then they yell at you and then they harass you and then they come to a job interview and you were the one interviewing them, what would you do? Would you give them a job? She did not get the job and I got some payback. 